What's happening guys? I'm back from holidays, so all calm, rested, and relaxed. And I figured it was time to make a, another video. Now, if you watched the last one, which was on the Battle Station Breakdown, you would have noticed towards the end of it that I mentioned that, that there was a new machine coming from work to replace my old MacBook Pro. And that's where this bad boy comes in handy. This is a MacBook M1 Max, which is the fully specced out machine that I'm going to be using to perform my duties as a senior data science specialist over the next couple of years, or however long I'm still doing this job. Who knows, we'll see. Hopefully my manager gives me a positive performance review for doing this one. If not, uh, we're kinda in trouble. Anyway. I figured I'd mix it up with some types of videos and we're gonna do an unboxing and take a look at this beautiful, sleek machine. Let's do it. Alrighty, let's do this. So this is the MacBook Pro M1 Max. I can't remember what the specs are exactly, but I believe it's got a 32 gigs of RAM. It's got the top spec processor and it has the one terabyte SSD hard drive. So. Let's get to unboxing. Oh yeah, feel the ASMR. You ready for this? Oh yeah, check that out. Look at that Mac sticker. very nicely wrapped and I've just torn the paper. Check that out. It's just such a nice machine, isn't it? So we've also got the charging cables. So this is, I can't remember what this is called, but I believe it's the new Thunderbolt cable or it's like whatever the new charging cable is, but oh, sorry, it's the MagSafe cable or the newer version. So. I've already got this on my personal MacBook Pro and it is an absolute godsend because it sticks very, very well. So that's sort of what it looks like there. Not too bad, hey. Let's put that to the side and then we've obviously got some information and the awesome new big boy charger. So this thing is absolutely huge, right? So compared to the old charger, this is significantly bigger. So you can see that there. Boom, new charger lads. Now, I don't think there's anything else left in the box. This box sort of empty. That's the MacBook. Ooh. This isn't all that satisfying. <laughs> it's my first time doing an unboxing, so bear with me. We're gonna get better, who knows? Look at that, look at that intro. As if that doesn't look brilliant. And I, I guess that's it, unboxed. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's get some B-roll. So now that that uh, slightly unsatisfying unboxing is now done, I figured I'd show you a little bit about what I do behind the scenes in terms of getting my machine set up for the stuff I do in my day job, which is obviously a data science technical specialist at IBM. You probably heard me say it a bunch of times before, 
so this is really all to do with setting up like my email clients, VPN and all that good stuff. Probably not gonna delve into too much of the deep learning side of things because that's gonna be a bit of an exploratory journey from what I've heard, particularly when it comes to working with the new M1 processors. But anyway, hopefully you enjoy some of the B-roll behind the scenes, let's do it. So before leaving on holiday, I had to rip out a bunch of cables to get the chargers for the machines I was going to be taking with me on holiday. I know, I know I wasn't meant to be coding while on holiday, but I did anyways, sue me. That left my cable management with a little bit to be desired. I am kind of hesitant to show you this, but uh, let's go check. So this is the state of my cable management right now. It's uh, it's uh, gonna take a little bit of work, but uh, for now we just gotta plug in the MacBook into AC power so that we can start transferring over a bunch of stuff from my old machine. Let's go do it. First things first, as you typically do on every machine, you use Safari or Internet Explorer to uh, install Chrome, right? So because I'm setting this one up for work, this is going to be an IBM laptop, so I've got to go through some of the specifics for setting up the security and whatnot on this particular machine. So I'm gonna run through how to actually get this done. I think there's actually a link that walks you through a bit of a wizard. So fingers crossed that sort of makes my life a little bit easier once we've got Chrome, of course. So once, now that I've got the IBM stuff sort of installing, the next thing that I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna use Anaconda to install Jupyter Notebooks and all the good stuff that I need, typically for Python and open source development. There's a couple of other IBM tools that I use as well, namely SPSS Modeler and a few others which I'm gonna get set up. If ever you wanna see some tutorials on some of those, let me know in the comments below. We can always get some stuff done, uh, but I'm gonna keep cracking through this and wrap this up. I'll talk to you later, guys. So last thing I need to do, which is what I do with virtually every one of my work laptops is drop the most important sticker ever. This one, remember to breathe. I'm gonna drop that on there. I'm not gonna try to do this while holding a camera cause I'm definitely gonna screw that up. And there we go, all done. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell. And I probably haven't talked about it enough, but there's a bunch of different ways that you can stay connected with the channel and with other subscribers. There is the Discord thread. Again, I'm gonna link that below. And I'm also going to start live streaming some of my interactive coding sessions. So if you wanted to see 
as I'm doing live code, you can actually check that out. Now, let me know if you do enjoy that. It's probably gonna be via Twitch or via YouTube live streams. Haven't exactly sorted it out yet, but I really wanted to start doing that to be able to interact with you a little bit more because I can't get to every single comment and to every single email, but maybe while we're doing it live, I'll be able to interact a little bit faster and a little bit more interactively. Who knows, we'll see. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Love ya a ton. Peace.